Hi everyone! In this lesson, you are going to learn how to calculate discounts and markups when it comes to percentages. A discount is a decrease in the original price of an item, whereas a markup is an increase in the original price of an item. A markup would happen when a store buys a certain item and then they want to make a profit, so they increase the price that they purchased it from before they sell it. When working with discounts and markups, there's a few different types of problems that we can solve. The first example, we're going to look at finding a sale price. It says that the original price of the shorts is $35. What is the sale price? There's a couple of different ways to do this. In the first method, we'll find the amount of the discount first and then subtract that from the original price. Based on the tag on the shorts, I can see that the uh, shorts were marked down 25%. So remember, when we're solving with percent, we want to change the percent to a decimal. So I'll do 0 0.25, or 25 hundredths, multiplied by 35. That's going to tell me the amount of the discount. That gives us $8.75. That's not what we pay for the shorts. That's the amount of money that is discounted from the original price. So in the last step, we'll subtract $8.75 from the original amount of 35 and that gives us $26.25 as the cost of the shorts on sale. The other way that we could solve this is to first find the percentage to be paid and then multiply that amount by the original price. In the study tip down here on the bottom of the slide, it says a 25% discount is the same as paying 75% of the original price. All you do is subtract the discounted amount from 100% because 100% represents the amount of the discount. So here what we would do is we would take 75%, uh, write it as a decimal, 75 hundredths, multiply that by 35, and that gives us the same exact amount that we had from the previous slide, $26.25 as the sale price of the shorts. At this point, you should read through the two different methods for finding a sale price on this slide, and then take note of the information on this slide by writing it down into your math notebook. Here's the first example for you to try on your own. It says the original price of a skateboard is $50. The sale price is 20% off the original price, or discounted. What is the sale price? Take a minute right now to determine what the sale price is before you continue with the rest of the presentation. Remember, there's two different ways that we can solve this. We can find the amount of the discount by multiplying 20%, or 0 0.20 times 50, which is $10, and then you subtract the discounted amount from the original amount, 50, for a total of $40. Or, if you don't prefer that method, you can determine what the amount, uh, the percentage to be paid of the original amount is, and that's just 100% minus the 20% discount, so I know that that's 80%. 80% as a decimal is 80 hundredths, multiplied by the original price of 50, and again, that still gives us $40 as the sale price. In example two, we're not finding the sale price. We're given the sale price, and we want to find the original price. So this question says, what is the original price of the shoes? Notice from the price tag on the shoes that they are now $33, and that is after a 40% discount from the original price. So what we should realize here is that the sale price of these shoes, $33, that's 60% of the original price because the discount of 40% is what comes off of the original price. In other words, the sale price is 100% minus 40% discounted for a total of 60% of the original price. So what we want to answer then is $33 is 60% of what number? So remember, we can focus on the words is and of in order to write an equation here. 33 is, I know that's the same as equals, 60% written as a decimal, and then of in math means multiply, so 60% of what number, I'll call that x. In order to figure out what x is, we'll divide both sides by 60 hundredths. 
and 33 divided by 0.6 gives us $55. So the original price of the shoes before the sale was $55. Take a minute to read through the notes on how to find an original price. Take notes of anything that you think will be helpful before you move on with the presentation. Here's the next on your own example. It says the discount on a DVD is 50%. It is on sale for $10. What is the original price of the DVD? Take a minute right now to try and figure this out before you go any further. So the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to figure out how or what percent of the original price are we paying. Since 100%, which is the entire amount, the whole, minus 50%, which is how much it's discounted, is also 50%, you would be paying 50% of the original price. So we want to answer the question, $10 is what, uh, $10 is 50% of what number? So here we're going to set up an equation, 10 is, I know that's equals, 50% written as a decimal of, which is multiply of what number, meaning we don't know what that amount is. We would divide both sides by 50% or 50 hundredths. And you should have gotten an answer of X is equal to $20. So the original price of the DVD was $20. The last type of problem in this lesson is finding a selling price. This is when we're dealing with a percent markup. So again, remember, this is when a store or someone who is reselling something, they buy it for a certain amount, and then they want to make a profit. They want to make money on their purchase, so they sell it for more money than what they purchased. It says here a store pays $70 for a bicycle. The percent of markup is 20%. What is the selling price of the bike? There's two different ways to solve this problem, so we'll look at um, each method individually again. The first method says to first find the amount of the markup and then just add it to the original price. So here we know that the markup is 20%, so I'm going to multiply 20% by $70, which is the purchase price. 70 times 0.2 is $14. Now to find the actual selling price, since $14 is just the amount of the markup, we'll add 14 to the price that was um, the, the purchase price of the bike and would get a total of $84. So the selling price on this bicycle is $84. Here we have the exact same problem, but another way to do it is to first find the amount of the markup as a percentage, rewrite that as a decimal, and then multiply it by the original price. So we are going to mark up this bicycle 20%. So we're going to sell the bike at $70 plus some more. $70 represents 100%, so the actual markup is the 100% for the, the price that the store paid for the bike, plus another 20%. 100% plus 20% is 120%. When we write 120% as a decimal, it's 1.2. Now we're just going to multiply 1.2 by $70, and that's still going to give us the exact same amount that we got on the first slide, $84. Read through the two different methods for finding a selling price. Add the information to your notes before moving on. Here's your last on-your-own example. A store pays $75 for an aquarium. The markup is 20%. What is the selling price of the aquarium? You can choose to solve this problem either of the two different methods that we talked about. I personally prefer to find out what the amount of the markup is and then just add that to the purchase price. So I'm going to multiply 20% by $75. Remember to write the percentage as a decimal before you multiply. 75 times 0.2 is $15. This is the amount of markup that was added to the, um, the price that was paid for the aquarium. So now to find how much the store is selling it for, we would just add $75 plus $15, which gives us a total of $90. Now you should have information in your notes on how to find an original price, a sale price, and the amount of uh, selling price after a markup from a store.